Okay, so welcome to our webinar today, which is part of Quantum's Roadshow with VFO. I'm Rebecca Clark from Quantum, and I'm very pleased to welcome Eric Desmarie, who is Vice President of Software Product Management at VFO, and as he's um, been with JAWS almost just about from the beginning, is known in the industry as Mr. JAWS. So today he's going to um, share with us what is new in the software area at VFO and um, also various information about JAWS and Fusion. Um, so we will be talking for about 30 minutes and then he'll will open for questions. So I'll just go through some housekeeping tips for using the Zoom software that we're using for this webinar. So we'll m mute your microphones during most of it, uh, but then we will be stopping for questions so you'll be able to speak at that time point. So if you need to mute yourself, you can either click on the microphone icon on the bottom of the um, program interface or you can press Alt and A. You can also go to the chat area and enter a message or a, a question to us and the shortcut for that is Alt and H and we are recording this presentation so we will be sending it around to anybody that would like it afterwards. So I'll uh, now hand over to Eric, so thank you. Okay, thank you Rebecca and uh, thanks to everybody who has joined the webinar. It's great to be here in Australia. I'm sorry uh, you weren't able to attend one of the sessions directly but we did want to spend an hour or so and cover as much of the information that we're doing in our presentations as we travel around with you. And <clears throat> my goal is to limit the conversation to 30 minutes or so on our side and then open it up and try and answer questions. Um, so I do have some prepared material. I'm going to try and demonstrate a feature or two in the new JAWS 2018. And um, and then we'll go and answer some questions at the end of that. So let me start by bringing up a slide presentation if I can. We have two computers here where we're doing the webinar. So I can see stuff on my screen and I, I'm waiting until it comes up on Rebecca's screen. And it has now, so I'm assuming you all can now see the slides. Um, I'm Eric Damery. As Rebecca said, I'm the Vice President of Software Product Management. I've been involved in the industry here for the better part of 25 years and worked directly with the team at Freedom Scientific. Prior to that, Henry Joyce. And of course, now we are a VFO group. And I've been working with the entire team in development um, of the JAWS for Windows program. A little bit about VFO. Um, <clears throat> we were formed about two years ago when Optelec from the Netherlands and Freedom Scientific from Florida came together and <clears throat> got purchased by Vector Capital, a private equity company in um, San Francisco. And about six months after that was formed, or seven months, AI Squared joined. And since then, AI Squared, by the way, is in Vermont. They're the makers of Zoom Text. And following that, more recently, we were joined by the Passiello Group, which is a web testing and services company based in New England. And they have um, members of their team throughout the world, actually. So. We've got a very uh, good group now, a lot of understanding of accessibility, both on the web and in applications. And we've got a pretty good mix of both hardware and software products. We've been very busy putting the teams together. And I hope that uh, organizations that use both JAWS and Zoom Text will be noticing um, now and in the future how these products start to work much better together trying to really make that priority for us right now to, to, to really get the cooperation between the two products. We do 
represent products in about 70 countries. We have all kinds of languages covered and we've been, you know, we've got a, a large team and every one of us uh, on the group seems to have a very lengthy time in the industry. So there's a lot of experience. So I would like to talk about some recent releases just to give you a little update. We did a JAWS 2018, which is going to be the SMA release for this year. It came out on October the 25th, and uh, the key changes in that are continued improvements with all of the browsers, but we are starting to make some headway with the Edge browser, and I may talk more about that afterwards. If we get some questions, I'll certainly do what I can to answer them. Um, we've also changed our versioning. As I mentioned, it's a 2018 release. I think many people were expecting it to be JAWS 19. We're making this change because we're starting to bring JAWS, ZoomText, and our new Fusion product um, together. They'll start releasing simultaneously in the future, and they'll all have the same version numbers when they release together, so that it'll be very clear to everybody which versions go with which. We were not able to release ZoomText and Fusion at the same time this year as JAWS, but it is our plan to get there with the next release. We will put out a Zoom text infusion in the January timeframe. So you'll see the 2018 release of those two products coming in January. And the plan is that if you are gonna use Fusion 2018, you'll be using the JAWS 2018 release and the Zoom text 2018 release as part of it. We've also uh, updated our convenient OCR feature in JAWS for Windows, and I'm going to try and demonstrate a little bit of this to you. Uh, essentially, we've added in support now for any file format, not just PDF. So previously, if you had a PDF document that was inaccessible, you could open the document in Acrobat Reader and have JAWS Windows OCR the entire document and give it back to you if it was an image file. So you could get very quick access to it. We've expanded that out for the camera that we have been providing for Freedom Scientific for a number of years called the Pearl. And Pearl has been a product that has primarily worked with open book software only, and it's expanded now to work with JAWS for Windows. And we'll also be working with Fusion shortly. We're also making Perl start to work with other things like um, Zoom Text for its image reader feature and KNFB Reader. So people with the KNFB Reader software will be able to use the Perl camera with that as well. Um, we've also added support in for the new Microsoft 10 synthesizers that got added in the Fall Creators release this year. Um, actually, it was prior to the fall creators release, but it was the creators release. I think it came out in March time frame, and it has new synthesizer voices, mobile um, voices that you'll see if you go into the JAWS voice options, and uh, you'll be able to find those Microsoft voices in there if you have Windows 10. We have also added a new feature for web verbosity. So this is a We've always had verbosity settings in JAWS, but these are specific for web pages. So as authors of web pages put markup in to help you navigate and understand when things are happening, such as when you're entering tables and leaving tables and entering regions and leaving regions, um, the ability to have JAWS get that information out of the way so that as you read through a document, you don't get interrupted by that kind of information. If this is a URL that you use on a regular basis and you understand how it's formatted, you understand that kind of information uh, and you don't need it anymore, you'll be able to get it out of the way and disable it using this new verbosity feature. We are also doing an update for JAWS 18 that'll be coming in November. <coughs> Excuse me. And that release is going to have some updates for Office 365, in addition to changes that we're putting in to accommodate the updates that Microsoft is pumping out in the fall creators 
version that just came out in October. We're also continuing to make some improvements on Edge, and some of those improvements are making it back into JAWS 18. And there'll be a few other fixes. You'll be able to see the write-up on the web when that update comes out. I should make it clear, for those of you who, who don't use uh, JAWS for Windows currently or haven't installed multiple versions, our software is designed that major SMA releases can both be installed on the computer at the same time. So for those of you who have JAWS 18, you can install JAWS 2018 and 18 remains there and you can still use it so it doesn't interfere with the use of that version. So when you, if you have 2018 installed and an update comes out for 18, if at some point you restart 18, it'll tell you an update's available and it will just update the 18 release. For those of you who have moved on to 2018 already, you don't have to worry about updating your 18. Uh, every, anything that goes into the 18 version goes into the 2018 version. In December, we'll be updating Magic 14. That is a screen magnification software that Freedom Scientific has distributed for a number of years. And we've made some modifications to that for the uh, large customer in the US Social Security Administration. And we've also made some adjustments because of the fall creators release of Windows 10. So we've updated Magic and we've brought in many of the changes that we've been doing in JAWS 18 over the past six months or so. And they're all coming into that Magic 14 release also. In December, you'll also be getting the first update of JAWS 2018. Um, that'll come in the first to second week time period. And that release will have a couple of new features and some continued changes to make improvements in things like Office 365 and the browsers and so forth. So watch for that first update. And then following the December updates, the next thing you should be seeing will be the new releases of Zoom Text and Fusion 2018. Although I do anticipate one more update for Zoom Text 11, and that'll probably come in the December timeframe as well. Uh, so please watch for that one. As you can see, we've been pretty busy. We're doing a lot of updates. I'd like to spend just a moment explaining that it's a it's changed quite a bit over the past couple of years. Microsoft has really changed their model. They've put an awful lot of emphasis into accessibility, but in addition to accessibility, just in general, Microsoft has gone to a new model of making rapid changes and doing updates every six to seven months. And those updates will be rolling updates coming out in the Windows 10 platform. So if you have Windows 10, and you're connected to the internet going forward, you can expect that you're going to be getting updates at various times throughout the year. If you're an individual home user with a computer Windows 10, in all likelihood, you can be one of the first ones to get that update because they tend to push it out to the home use computers first and then corporate and educational and professional. If you are a home user, you've got Windows 10, you connect to the web, be prepared. You're going to be getting some of these updates automatically the SMA program and keep your, as they're making changes, we have to make changes and we'll need you to get our updates as well. So just to talk uh, a little bit through Fusion. Um, Fusion's a product that came out uh, to the end of 2015, AI Squared released it. At the time when they first released Fusion, it was uh, a combination of the ZoomText product and the Windowize product. So they added Windowize in as a full-blown screen reader to ZoomText to give it a much more high level of speech. After the merger, we made a, a decision to go forward with Fusion, but instead of using Zoom, uh, instead of using Windowize, we substituted in JAWS for Windows, and we got the first release out back in the April March timeframe. Um, 
this past year, and that was Fusion 11. So it, it installs both ZoomTex 11 and JAWS 18. It's a single installation to give some flexibility to organizations that don't necessarily want to have to install multiple products. They can install one time with Fusion and they get both ZoomText and JAWS on their computers as well. Um, this is a great opportunity for uh, organizations to have a product on there. So no matter what the users need, uh, no matter how much speech somebody requires uh, with magnification or if they require no magnification at all and just speech, the Fusion solution puts enough of the technology on there to, to meet the needs of everybody. Also, nice way for us to be able to get benefits. Um, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit about JAWS 2018 and its OCR capabilities. I mentioned this before. When Fusion 2018 comes out, someone who has that installed will have all of those OCR capabilities that are available through JAWS 2018. So this brings that technology that we're making in one product into another product line. So it's going to speed up and make the uh, experience, I think, for, for all users at each level a little bit stronger. So what installs with Fusion? Again, it's a single install. Both ZoomTex and JAWS are placed on the computer. Uh, and you get an icon to run as Fusion, which launches them both. For organizations that are familiar with having two different um, serial numbers, two different authorization numbers for products and so forth, with Fusion, you get one serial number, you get one authorization code, and it works for all the products. As updates come out for ZoomText or for JAWS, as soon as they're released, if you run as Fusion, you'll get told that there is an update for one of the products and you'll be asked to install that update. And so we are testing the updates, not only as individual products, but also as Fusion before they get released. Um, JAWS and ZoomText know if they're running as individual products or if they're running as Fusion. And I think that's an important point because somebody may do some testing, for instance, and they may want to test as a JAWS user would be using it with different speech settings, different speech rate and so forth. But then they also may come along and test as a Fusion customer who would have maybe different settings in and each product will store the settings for JAWS um, independently of the other product. So you can easily switch back and forth and try it with different settings. So it's, it's going to be very good for the testing space, I think. As I mentioned, there'll be three icons that will be sent to your desktop when the install happens. You'll get a Fusion icon, which is a red Z. You'll get a Zoom text a traditional icon, which is a blue with a, a Z in it, and you'll get the JAWS icon. All three will be on your desktop, and if you launch um, the individual JAWS or ZoomText, just those products as you've had them in the past, they'll run that way. If you launch as Fusion, it'll run that way. For those of you who are familiar with one of the techniques that we've had in JAWS for a while to go to the Run Dialog, You'll be able to do that now with all of the products. So if you Windows key R, bring up the run dialog, type in JAWS 18 or JAWS 2018 with no spaces, um, either one of those products will launch depending on which one you typed in. You'll also be able to do that with Fusion. You can do it today with Fusion 11 by typing in the word Fusion and the number 11 with no spaces, pressing enter, will launch Fusion 11. You'll also be able to do this once we get to 2018 with Zoom Text by typing in ZT2018 or Zoom Text 2018. Those will both launch the Zoom Text product, and of course, Fusion 2018 and JAWS 2018 will work as well. So I mentioned that for those of you who don't use the mouse and clicking on the, the icons, that's 
a very quick way of launching the programs as well. So key benefits, the single installation and authorization, regular updates, uh, screen tracking, is synchronized. So as JAWS is reading on web pages, Zoom Text is tracking right where JAWS is reading. And uh, Braille obviously moving along with it. Navigation quick keys allow you to jump around by headings and controls, paragraphs, and Zoom Text will track right along with the navigational quick keys. You get the benefits of eloquence and vocalizer expressive 2.2 voices and all languages available for all three products as we get to the 2018 release. Typeability, the typing tutor created by yesaccessible.com, works with JAWS for Windows, also works with Fusion as a result. And JSA, created by Harton, Harton Consultancy, the interface between JAWS for Windows and Dragon, naturally speaking, is also supporting Fusion. So if you have Fusion, you can start to use a JSA version with that also. Contact Harchin Consultancy for the JSA and yesaccessible.com for the typing tutor. Yeah. That's right. I'm sorry. You can contact Quantum and, and get it from them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the future improvements, and there will be some coming in the JAWS for Windows 2018 release. Of course, you'll get those features automatically moved right into the Fusion product line. Also, um, we've been demonstrating a couple of the new features coming up in the December release during the presentations this week. And uh, I won't go into those features on this webcast, but I will tell you to pay attention and watch for that update in December. I think these are two great features coming. And as you mentioned that the ecosystem of JAWS scripting solutions that have been out there uh, are available to Fusion users. So if they've got um, an organization has created scripts to get speech and things working better in a job space, through this JAWS scripting language, once you put Fusion on, those scripts can be incorporated into the Fusion product and used in the same fashion. Okay, um, downloading software on the Freedom Scientific homepage, there is a link for downloads and you'll find access to JAWS, um, ZoomText Fusion, Magic Open Book, all of our products. If you go to the ZoomText Fusion link, it'll take you to the ZoomText download page where you'll find ZoomText and Fusion right on there. You'll also find links on our page for synthesizers. I mentioned that you get access to Vocalizer Expressive and JAWS for Windows. On the JAWS uh, download page, you'll find synthesizers. And when you go to the synthesizer page, you'll find access to Vocalizer Expressive version two any language that you would like, along with every voice available for that language. And there is an awful lot of options out there. So if you can please visit that page. You can download any of those voices you want. They're included for free with your licenses of JAWS and Fusion. You can even use these voices with our 40-minute reboot the computer mode um, demo. I will talk about a change coming up in ZoomText 2018. So prior upgrades to ZoomText required you to get a new serial number from AI squared. You have to enter that new serial number in in order to run that new SMA release. Starting with ZoomText 2018, we'll be converting that over to a single serial number that you'll keep for the future, along with an ILM authorization code, as we've done with JAWS and Fusion. And it is our goal to automate the process of sending that authorization code to existing ZoomText users who are on the SMA program. So if you've got ZoomText 11 today and you're interested in getting the upgrades in the future, I suggest and request that you get on the SMA program uh, very quickly and give us an opportunity to get you the next update uh, prior to the release of 2018, and it'll be able to introduce your 
next version serial number right into your computer so you won't have to get involved in typing it in. Uh, I think the transition will be much easier this time than it may have been in the past as people would do upgrades to Zoom text. So I encourage you to please get involved in the SMA program and do so right away. Okay, yep. Uh, let me, before I stop for questions here, I want to back out of this PowerPoint presentation. And I want to bring up and show you a little bit about what we can do on the OCR front with JAWS for Windows. So I'm going to launch the 2018 version. It's JAWS Professional Meeting Controls. To your computers. And it should be now. And there is a slight delay. JAWS Professional. JAWS Professional. So I will attempt to uh, pause a little bit to make sure that when I say something and when the computer should be speaking because of JAWS, it'll, it'll do so. Um, if you're seeing the screen on my desktop, you'll see that there is a file called a picture with text, and it's a JPG Photos, photos, list JPG box, file. picture with text.jpg. I clicked on that file and brought it up, and you'll see it's a uh, picture that I took out of a book. Um, I just turned to a page. It was a, it was a seeing eye. Uh, book that came out last year and uh, opened it up, took a picture of the page. So I've got this text, but it's a JPEG file. So of course, screen readers can't read this. But Jaws Professional Desktop you to Folder View List move View to Not Selected Picture with my desktop. Context Menu and Open. If you right click or open the context menu on that file. There is an option. Edit with Edit, edit print, Recognize with Jaws. Recognize with Jaws. And that option is there because I have JAWS 2018 installed. I didn't have to do anything else. And if I press enter on recognize with JAWS, JAWS will actually go in and OCR the contents of that file and then deliver it back to me. So I'll press enter now and we'll give it a second and see what we get back. Enter, leaving menus, folder view, list view, picture with text.jpg checked, 24 of 27, document OCR started, pages right side up, letter from the president and CEO of the CNI, 2016 was an outstanding year, the CNI completed a year early our 5 year capital campaign, our goal was sustainability colon if we could raise $10, $10 million. So I stopped um, the screen reader at that point. And as you saw, it did the OCR. It opened up a window that JAWS creates. It put the text into that window on the screen, and it automatically started to read the text. And I now have access to the text. I can move by word. Over five years to add. And I can select the text. I'll use standard Windows commands to select. Add to R endowment comp A conservative. Selected. Copied selection to clipboard. I can then take that selection that I've made of the text. I can go out to a Word document and I can paste it in or an email message um, to save the content if that's what I wanted to do. I can select all of it using Control A. I can select by line, uh, shift down arrow, and so forth. And um, this is a very good way to get quick access to print material if I don't have some other option on my computer, such as open book. Um, we also made this work with the Pearl camera. So if I had a Pearl camera and I plugged it into my computer, then escape. Jaws version I could take a piece of paper, set it up with the Pearl camera, and through some commands, uh, insert space. Space. The letter O. O. O C R. And the letter A for acquire. Camera and scanner recognition dialog. Cameras and scanners combo box. Pearl. One of one. It, it pulls up this dialog box and it recognizes that I have a Pearl camera. And it's going to allow me to just press enter here and it would take a picture of the text document that's underneath the Pearl camera. OCR it and deliver it back to me just like it did the file on the desktop. I should also point out that uh, if I had a scanner, a flatbed scanner plugged into my computer, it would also appear in this list. 
so you will be able to or a twain flatbed scanner uh, as you would with us and that will also work as i mentioned with fusion 2018 when it comes out so uh, you know one of the so if anybody's got any questions either type them to us or um yeah everybody should be i'll or raise your hand. So is there anybody who wants to ask a question? We did have one about which version of Zoom text is installed with um, Fusion, um, whether it was Mag Reader or Magnify. I'm so, trying to unmute here. There we are. Yeah. So when you install Fusion, you're installing full-blown JAWS and full-blown ZoomText Mag Reader on your computer. When you run as Fusion, you're running Magnifier as part of ZoomText because JAWS for Windows will handle all the speech at that point. But if you shut Fusion down and then launch ZoomText, it will run as ZoomText Magnifier Reader, or you can have the user turn off the speech and essentially run as ZoomText Magnifier. So when you put Fusion on, you have all variations. So, were there any other questions at this point? There are also some icons on the, uh, yeah, I'll check if anyone's raising their hand. I can't see anybody. Oh, yeah, we've got another question. Okay, so we've got another question. What's the advantage of using Fusion over ZoomText Mag Reader? Okay, good question. So when you're running a ZoomText Mag Reader, you're getting just the speech that Mag, the ZoomText has always had in the product. And that isn't quite the level of speech that you would get if you had a full-blown screen reader like JAWS for Windows. So if you run as Fusion, you're going to get a lot more speech options and you're going to get things like being able to navigate on a web page using single letter navigation to jump around and have the speech track that along with the visual aspect. Uh, that's something you don't have in ZoomText. In order to do that with ZoomText, you really had to go into the app reader to do it. But with, with Fusion, you can just do it on a live screen. You'll also get access to a lot of the features that JAWS brings to the table, things like the OCR capability, things like skim reading, text analyzer, research it. All of those features in JAWS are available to you when you're running as Fusion, where they're not when you're running as Mag Reader. Okay. Thanks. And another question: um, Will there be the same type of district and site licenses for? that are available for JAWS, available for Fusion? Yes, there are, and you can do those today with Fusion 11. You can get it as a district license, or actually it's an enterprise or a non-enterprise license. You can buy them as standalone or multi-user licenses, and we have the home version and the pro version of Fusion, just like we do with JAWS. Fusion, in the ZoomText product line, we will also have the enterprise, non-enterprise, single user, multi-user, but they'll only be the one level. It won't. It will not be split on the Magnifier Reader product into a, into a home and a pro. That'll be restricted to Fusion and JAWS. Okay. Um, so we've had a comment there yeah, that the OCR capability would be good. Um, and another, if you've got ZoomTech. Fusion, this is something we've had up come up in the general roadshows. If you've got ZoomText Fusion with the OCR feature of JAWS. Um, then what can the open book software offer above this? Is it, um, is it maybe the feature of exact and split views, things like that? Yes, that's one of them. Um, and what that means with open book, when you OCR something, you can get an exact image of what's been scanned in side by side with the OCR image and you can edit right there in the scanned file that you've just created so you don't have to save that text and take it out to Microsoft Word to make the adjustments. You can also save in many different formats including Braille and audio right in OpenBook. OpenBook also allows you to do annotations, 
and keep notes in materials that you've scanned in. And it's got some unique scanning capabilities to be able to tell it, for instance, that this is um, recipe book or poetry or something that doesn't have any punctuation and to make sure that it can pause at the end of lines rather than look for punctuation for pauses because if you OCR in a recipe book it would be awful difficult to understand which measurement unit of measurement goes with which ingredient um, and that capability in open book is not really in JAWS at this point. Open Book also comes with two scanning engines, the Nuance OCR engine that's included with JAWS, as well as the ABC engine uh, that is only included in Open Book. So it does some polling when you've taken a picture and scanned something in, and uh, it can do a little better job. Open Book also has the uh, import printer, so if you've got a file, you can send it straight into open book and have it OCR'd as well. Um, and then, you know, of course, save it in a different file format. Okay, thanks, Eric. Um, any f other questions? I couldn't see anyone else raising their hand. Oh, yep, um, somebody else here. Okay, so somebody that's using OmniPage on long 100 page plus documents which can create a lot of white noise in the OCR. How well does Fusion work in comparison regarding that? Um, I think that's a, a great question and I don't have an answer to it. Um, I would be interested to find out how that works. If you have an opportunity, you can install JAWS for Windows 2018 right now and uh, try that out and find out plug a scanner in and use 2018 to do the scan and see if it puts the white noise in or if it takes it out. Okay, great. Okay, well, um, yep, we might just carry on. We can stop at the end for a few questions as well. So, yeah, maybe we'll see how we go. Yeah. Maybe I'll cover one of the features that we've been talking about this week. I've been bringing up several things that exist in the product already. Um, one of the presentations that we're going to start preparing for next year at the CSUN convention, which happens in March in California, is going to be like a JAWS bite session where we give a whole bunch of small features that exist in JAWS for Windows and or Fusion and share those with the uh, attendees of the session and we'll probably also share that slide deck out with all the the information on how to set up things to do this um, to users who don't attend the conference because i think it'll be very useful but we'll put things in there like the history feature in jaws many users don't know about this feature and it's it's quite uh, useful once you get uh, handy with it and when I say history, it's really it's a history of what JAWS has spoken. And so, uh, for instance, if you bring up a message dialog box that has a long number in it or has some code that you need to share with somebody, uh, like a support organization or something, and it's hard to remember that stuff and then read it back to them or remember it and then type it in to an email message. And oftentimes you can't get access to it to select it and copy it. You might be able to read it. You might be able to move the JAWS cursor to it and have it spoken. And as long as you can get it to read, right after it reads, you can do the following. You hold down the insert key, press the space bar, and then hit the letter H for history. At that moment, a window will pop up on the screen and the last 50 strings that were sent to the synthesizer will be placed in that window. And the last thing it said will be the last item in the list, and that's where your cursor will be. You can then select that line or as many back as you need, copy them to the clipboard, and then paste the information right into your email message or someplace else if you're trying to save that information. So that's the JAWS history feature great tool it's been in JAWS for quite a while and if you haven't tried it you can try that instantly if you've got JAWS running any version 
just insert space, goes into the layered mode, and you hear the little sound, and then the letter H. And then wait, you'll get it. Okay, that's great. Um, okay, we did miss one person's question. Um, Adam, am I? No, oh, it doesn't seem to have audio. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, also while we're on, we do keep getting occasional um, issues with our internet. So if we drop out, we will be back. So hopefully it'll stay put for, for now. Am I coming through with audio, Rebecca, through the phone? Oh, yes, you are now. Yep, yep. So, oh, okay, no, uh, sorry yep. about that. The, Your question? The uh, That's right. question that I had for Eric is that uh, I've heard uh, through different mailing lists that uh, there's talk of uh, VFO products going to a subscription based model like Office 365? Yes, well, we have started to, to introduce some subscriptions. Um, currently, there is a 90-day license of JAWS available that can be purchased. Um, and that is kind of really the first introduction to a subscription. I expect that we will expand that out into annual subscriptions and maybe you know, two year, three year. Um, and I think this will give people an opportunity to, to maybe avoid buying a two year SMA and they'll be able to start buying shorter subscriptions to use the product. Uh, the nice thing about subscriptions is you've always got access to the latest and greatest version. And, um, you know, I think as we've introduced or think about subscriptions, we're going to introduce a subscription that allows someone to have access to any of the products. I'll give you another for instance. In the United States, there is a program now through the American Printing House for the Blind, and students through the American Printing House um, uh, quota funds that are available, students are able to buy annual subscriptions to JAWS for Windows through that, through the American Printing House only at this time. And so I think we'll continue to see that that program expanded with education and I think uh, uh, into into some other channels as well in the in the near future. Okay. Thanks for that, Eric. So Just uh, put people on mute. Yep. Um, okay. Is there other things that you wanted to talk about at all? No. Okay. So um, I'll just um, share my screen. The other thing that we have been talking about on these roadshows is we have got um, some of the new Braille products. So here at Quantum, we've now got available the Focus 45th generation to show. We are doing a bit of a special on a couple of the uh, the um, Other well, version four, I guess, model from the, the great new Focus fifth generation, which more durable. It's got some extra features. You're more than happy to chat to you about that and show you that. Um, yeah, and oh, we've got the L Braille as well. Um, so currently, we've got the 14 cell. We're just um, going to be getting the 40 cell version here too, and that's a whole Windows 10 uh, note taker with 40 cells. Um, you can put your office. You can run your it comes with jaws loaded. You can just use one of your keys with it. Um, so I'll just um, share my screen again. Um, OK, there's another question. Yep. Um, are there any improvements to the authorization or activation processes for any of the enterprise versions of products? All right. Um, so for the multi-user products with the ILM, I'm not sure if you're familiar how, how it works on the JAWS side, if that's what you're asking. But we have a licensed server that can be installed on someone's computer. And if you want to learn about this or look at how it functions, you can actually go to the Freedom Scientific homepage. And I believe under support, you'll find a choice for networks. 
and the information is in there and you can actually download the license server and install it to see how it how it works but basically you're given an authorization code you put the authorization code in for the oh they do yep yeah, yeah, yeah. oh so they so, Okay, so yeah, so if you're having issues with that um, network license solution, uh, I encourage you to contact Quantum and let's let's get some conversations going because we are using it very successfully in many different places. Um, so if you do have any further questions, do contact us here at Quantum 1300 883 We've also got Danny and sometimes myself on the support line, 1300-791-777, uh, or by email. Um, and you can either visit our website, quantumrlv.com.au, or freedomscientific.com for or zoomtext.com for any of the product information and downloads. We also want to look at getting um, more information out and keep having more little webinars with tips and tricks as well so um, I've definitely learned things this week as well so it's, it's been great so thank you very much Eric we're very privileged to have you here and uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to have this webinar so I'm sure everybody else would like we say sorry about the connection issues um, but uh, yeah I hope you've all enjoyed that and talk to you soon I'll sign off